Hey guys, it's Noah Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I will be showcasing my computer that I built in my uh, Redstone world here. Uh, this is an 8-bit computer. Uh, it's taken the better part of a week. Um, I spent like three days building it, and then I've been spending like a lot of time debugging it. I'm still not done debugging, um, but it does work for what I wanted, what I have on it so far. Um, it can store uh, two programs. There's two slots for programs here. You can add more if you want, um, but I have two stored in here. Uh, I'm going to explain a bit more of it later, but first of all, let's actually run a simple program. Um, probably the most common program to anyone who makes Redstone computers is the uh, Fibonacci sequence, calculating the Fibonacci sequence. So I will be doing that first. That is program 2 on my computer. So I'm loading it in. It's going to lag a bit. And then uh, it will start counting up in Fibonacci. Uh, the clock, I think it's set at around 24-ish ticks, something like that, um, for each uh, cycle. And um, the first cycle for this takes a bit longer because it sets up the uh, registers, but after that it speeds up. Uh, five, and then it'll count up in Fibonacci. Um, if you don't know Fibonacci, it's basically you take the number and then you add the number before it in the sequence. So okay, you take one and add the number before it, which is zero, and then you get one, and then take that one, add one, and you get two. And then you take that 2, add 1, you get 3. Take that 3, add 2, you get 5. Take 5, add 3, you get 8, etc. And it just keeps adding. Um, and uh, I also programmed this one to stop counting and clear it back to 0 once it hits its maximum, which is coming up here. Uh, 144, 233, and then it's going to go back to 0 since it overflows. Uh, it was just a simple conditional branch to uh, decide that. So now it's at zero. All right, and um, I also have another program loaded onto this right now. Um, it's just a multiplication program. Basically, uh, load the program. This light will come on, which says it's waiting for a user input. Um, and this is the user in input panel. Over here is the uh, least significant bit. Over here is the most significant bit uh, for. Uh, since it's an 8-bit computer, for multiplication you only want to do 4-bit uh, times 4-bit because anything higher than that would overflow. So uh, let's do something something interesting. Let's do uh, 10 times 10. That's kind of interesting to multiply in binary. Um, and you hit confirm, and then it's going to run some calculations. It's going to shift and add and all that stuff. And then after it's done, it will display the out, um, answer on the screen. So, uh, wait a bit. Uh, and while it's calculating, actually, I guess I can explain a little bit of this. Um, right here I have the ALU, which is just a um, standard insta-carry ALU with... Um, uh, I have a right shifter up here on top. And then... Uh, over here is the dual read registers. I have um, seven of these. Uh, I actually found a bug with these earlier. I'm going to have to replace them eventually. But um, yeah, they work for what I'm doing right now, but eventually they won't. And then over here is um, 15 bytes of RAM. And uh, that's just uh, address stuff. Um, and then over here we have underneath this is the uh, operation code for the ALU, um, just a ROM with a decoder up here, up here which leads into the uh, program memory down there. Uh, and then here uh, we have the clock itself right here. Uh, that is turned on and off by one of these lines. I can't remember exactly which one. This one right here. Um, that turns the clock off, so when this is powered that torch is shut off which means the clock can't tick. And then uh, that goes into the program uh, register here, uh, current register. 
and then the the go to commands are stored in the program as long as um, as well as the branching. This is branching pink, and then the green here is the go to command for the next line of code. Uh, that does make the instruction set a little bit bigger, but it's it gives you way more control over what you want to do branching wise. Uh, right here is the little branching unit. Uh, it takes input from a bunch of places like uh, shift underflow, uh, carry out, alu equals zero, um, inverted carry out. So basically, if carry out equals one, if carry out equals zero, you can uh, have do two different conditions. Uh, and then over here, I have a simple XY GPU, nothing, no bat, no box drawing or anything. Just um, all that's here is a uh, register, and then uh, decoders for the XY, and there's a save command and um, clear command down here. So um, you can draw little pixels or lines or um, yeah. It looks like it is done. It, I think it's, it's been done for a while, but um, we have our answer 100 for the multiplication problem, 10 times 10, which is indeed 100. Uh, I use my um, binary to BCD decoder for the screen, as well as this monstrosity of a bus. I actually had to redo this a while ago. It, it was a pain in the ass. I, I put it in backwards by mistake. I'm kind of a derp like that, and I had to completely redo this busing like two times yeah that kinda sucked but um yeah uh... this i'm not gonna be updating the world download yet because this computer is nowhere near th a bug worked out like there are tons of timing crap issues I, I every every time i write a new program i'm still going through here and taking little repeaters here and there for different timings and um, I did use some instant repeaters because just couldn't think of another way to get the speed right um, especially for the branch the branch line I had to uh, use instant repeaters to speed that up uh, I know that's lame whatever but uh, anyways um, I, I, I'm, I'm calling this computer NPC uh, Nuo Personal Computer I kind of like the name uh, Zero One since the first one. I'm probably gonna make a every computer that I make after this one is gonna use that name. So uh, yeah, and I actually color coded. Like I rarely color code, but I I decided I was programming this and I was just like, no, no, I can't I can't do this. I had to color code it, and uh, yeah, that makes it a lot easier to program. But I'm not color coding anything else, ever. Only, only light gray, red, and red stone blocks for when I need. And dark gray for the control area usually. So uh, I can unload that now. That's probably what's causing me to lag. And I can turn the computer off as well. So um, I'm gonna continue to work on this computer and. Uh, adjust the timings and replace components as I need to if they don't work for some reason. Um, like that, like that dual read register, I need to replace that and um, program some other stuff. And uh, I will be making more videos of programs that I come up with on this. Uh, I, I do want to make a uh, program that draws lines on the screen. That's one of my goals for this computer. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, no, I haven't made a redstone video in a while, but um, hope this sort of makes up for it. Sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.